Okay, now. Ta-da. This is a third art book. Artist works. Because if I don't like. It's released by Neopol in 2016, June 10th. 192 pages. It has a hard case. Okay. This will be the reward for the fan art contest. It has six chapters. The characters, dungeons, background, NPCs, monsters, global. What's global? We have already had many art books before, so it's quite simplified. Each advancement and awakening, illustrations, but bigger. In artistic viewpoint, it's better to grasp all the classes at once. And not really much text. So, female slayer. And there's a little bit of conceptual arts on this side. Mm. Male fighter. Machanga. And Machanga was the newest class back then. And Dungeons is drawing, not a dotted in game graphic. It's all drawn. The lines are much smoother and beautiful, like painting. The original artwork of the monsters. And finally, global. Okay. These, these were unreleased artwork. So that was the reward artbook that the winners get soon. Ta-da! This was recently released in 2018. So this year, 10th year anniversary artbook by Tencent, again. Uh, Chinese DFO publisher, the most luxurious among all the art books up until now. Ta da! It looks like this. Quite thick. Okay. Another hard case. The surface is more like a leather wrapped, it looks much more high quality. Luxurious. Okay, now we have again the comments and special message from 2008 till 2018, so 10th year anniversary. Well, compared to other art books from the first page, we now have the recent illustrations, the summer ones. Also the old ones. What is it? Wow, this is the artwork that Dungeon hasn't seen anywhere. Oh, special illustrations for each update. So this is not just the characters and monsters conceptual art. This shows the history of Chinese service for past 10 years. Hmm, interesting. Male mage. Yeah, so there's a logo for each update. Hmm. Kunoichi, Knight, Second Awakening, and Male Priest, Second Awakening event, Pandemonium, and also the monster conceptual art, and the actual drawing of the monster, and the dotted in-game graphic. We can see how the actual artwork become the dotted in-game graphic. This is interesting, you know. We even have again Becky. More recent monsters and characters, even like female priests in the sword. Items. Character illustrations. Mm. Artwork. Well, nail pool graphic team. And there's special illustrations. So this is only for this art book. Look at this wedding illustrations. Hmm, this is special.
What's special about this art book is this actually. So after all the pages, this thick and it's covered with a black sheet of paper. Ta-da! Look at this. We have three swords. These are real swords, not a graphic thing. Make sure you can put these out. Ugh. This is it. This is a real metal sword. This one too. Can you hear the metal clink sound? It's transparent. The hilt is metal. So all the three swords are in the art book. It's not just an art book. We have the swords. Okay, now we reviewed all the art books released up to now, just except second art book released in Korea. So as soon as Dungeon gets that, then you will show it to you too. So please look forward to the next review. And what Dungeon felt looking at this is Tencent released this kind of art books, figures, and all the good things. Now we envy them. Dungeon is still waiting for the day that we can have these kinds of luxurious, high quality merchandise for adventurers. If we have more and more supporters worldwide, globally, we may have something like this. Thank you for watching this. Long live DFO, we need your more support. And please click like of the video and subscribe our YouTube. Thank you.